Hi guys, doing a second print uh, with my brand new Voron Rat Rig. Sorry, Voron Rat Rig. Rat Rig V Core 3.1. Um, I changed the extrusion back from 0.94 to 1 because that's been working for me on the bruises and that seems to improve the first there. Uh, looking pretty good. I, I upped the speeds a little bit. I designed a new spool mount. Well, I modified the existing design. The first one I designed, I just basically elongated this, uh, the rat rig part, to fit three ki kilo spool because I only use three kilo spools. What's the point of using one kilo? Now the problem with this one is that I didn't know the holes were actually over here. There's a little thing that blocks the hole so it sort of falls out a little bit. So I redesigned so it, the holes will match. It's actually printing a spool mount for itself. How cool is that? But it's printing perfect lines right now. I actually upped the speed. Let me go ahead and show you guys. Um, so I'll show you my design first here. So basically what I did is, um, you know these, these holes, uh, they would actually um, interfere with the spool because my spools have these little ends for this pet G. There's a little tab and then it gets sort of stuck in that thing even though I put the PTFE tube in there. So I actually don't need it so I wanted to smooth it all out. Um, but I wanted to keep the holes, so I smoothed that all, all out with uh, cut out a cylinder and I cut that part out um, So I, I made the hole better that way it won't that little th a thing sticking out won't get stuck at the end over here um, So this this I lengthened it 50 uh, 50 millimeters or 50 is that five centimeters? Yeah, five centimeters. I elongate it so I can actually fit other things. Oh shoot, I think I forgot. I think I, f I messed up here. Oops. <laughs> no, no, that's not, that's right, that's right. I thought I forgot the handle. Um, so I just meshed it in the, and then sort of <laughs> added some cylinders. And then as far as slicing, I used uh, the default slicing and I upped the speeds to 200, uh, 230 for infill. Uh, acceleration, I kept it at mod 6K and infill at 8K, and I upped the speed for first layer. It seems to handle just fine. Uh, for filaments, I used the default settings 225 and 235, which works up for my Prusa. But I may uh, increase that since I'm going at higher, faster speeds. Now it's at like the second layer. Oh my god, that thing is fast. So it's doing second layer, that's with, uh, that's at 8K acceleration. So I just wanted to push this real quick. I want to get some good quality prints without, uh, I want to get faster quality, but it seems a little, I think I need a little bit more um, temperature there, 235. So I may up the temperature. Now the main sail that comes with it, it uh, allows you to, change variables so I might try 245 okay that's gonna change it to 245 and I feel like you know when your filament is not as shiny you know it's it's sort of on the lower temperature so I think because I'm going so much faster now um, if I up the temperature 10 degrees it should turn back to satin but uh, shiny, I mean. Yeah, it's getting a lot more shinier like I'm more used to. So maybe bring up everything by 10 degrees. Look at that. See how it, it, it wasn't as shiny and now it's a little bit more shinier. It's because I'm going way faster. But ooh, I can just smell that pet tree. I'm going to start wearing mask around here. It is just burning through so much uh, plastic. It is amazing. This is my second print. I'm actually amazed um, at once you get it going, once you install the firmware, I mean, it it just runs. I'm actually amazed. I thought I would, there would be a lot more configurations that I'll have to mess with. Um, but maybe I might be going too fast. I changed the temperature and it seems to have affected maybe a little bit. I'm not sure. 
That is it's going way faster than my Prusa. This is just definitely, definitely a fun printer. Yeah, that looks that looks about right. Maybe a little too much. I might play with it a little bit. Uh, but yeah, my second print ever, printing at um, 6K and 8K, 6K perimeters and 8K. I mean, look at this thing. It's just, it's just, it's just pretty awesome.